Hello everyone, my name is Zastanga, and welcome to XCOM and Me Within. So we're gonna start a nice Let's Play series on this. I'm gonna be playing it on normal difficulty, but I am going to... Progency? What is this? In course of defending Earth against the alien invasion, undertake a campaign to rescue an alien abductee who is more than she seems. I will definitely do that. Iron Man... In an Iron Man game, you cannot reload earlier saves, adding a significant level of challenge to the experience. Iron Man mode is only recommended for experienced players. Well, I haven't played in a long time, so I guess I'm experienced. <laughs> uh, reduce beginner uh, voiceover, so the AI isn't so chatty. And, um, let's go for it. Um... If you have never played, if you have never played X Men: I strongly recommend the experience. Blah 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 blah. Would you like to enable that experience? No, thanks. I'll just uh, bite the bullet and try to figure it out on my own as I go. <laughs> Probably a mistake. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. Don't know if I'm saying his name right. Well then. I wouldn't be getting close to that thing. Would you guys? Like, I mean, in all seriousness, I wouldn't be within a hundred feet of any of those things. <laughs> Mainly because I'd be somewhat worried about this happening. <laughs> Well, that's a horrible way to go. Yikes. <coughs> Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. That's a lot to stake on one person, guy. It really is. <coughs> Good luck, Commander. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. Alright, so we, this is where we get to pick our starting place. Um, all aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase. <clears throat> Pardon me. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. All projects in the foundry and the officer training school cost 50% less. Autopsies and interrogations are complete instantly. Monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. Um... Hmm. More money. These, if I remember correctly, are completed fairly quick. Um. Board toys workshop. Um, I might want that, but. Yep, we're gonna go with uh, Asia. We're gonna be based in Asia. <clears throat> the area of engagement for this mission will be in India. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Operation Secret Hymn. Okay. 
neutralize all hostile targets, locate and secure meld canisters. Got it. Meld is like, um, it's a timed resource to get in most of the missions that I'm going to be playing, and it, um, it actually allows... One. Oh. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright. Um, so as I was saying, the, uh, meld canisters actually, um, allow you to get the special stuff. Oop. Alright, so these are the the basic enemies of this uh, game. The sectoids is what they're called. 45% chance. So I have a 45% chance to hit both of these guys. Um, sure. Let's try it. Missed. Dang it. Negative damage. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's uh, let's get this guy over here. Oop! I triggered more people. <coughs> Or more aliens, I should say. They're not really people. But I successfully flanked one of these aliens. Actually, can I chuck a nade in there? Frag grenade. Can that get in there? Oh, we can. Alright, so let's just... Uh, let's go with the guarantee. Take them both out. There we go. Now I have to worry about the other two that I have spotted. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember if Overwatch is... Like, I remember what it does, but I'm not... I don't remember necessarily what, um, what triggers it. I know movement can trigger it. Um, I'm not sure what else. Moving out. All right. All right, so this is a mine meld, I believe is what it's called, and it adds one health onto the um the sectoid that's being affected by it. However, it also um uh makes the pair vulnerable because if I can take it down the one that initiated it, the one with the 3 life, then I can um essentially kill them both if I successfully kill the one with less life. So I'm just going to make this guy dash all the way up into the full cover, even though that kind of leaves him exposed. I'm going to shift uh, him over a little. And uh, we're going to try to... We're going to try and shoot this one. Oof. Hit him, but didn't kill him. And that will change. Let me just see what my... Okay. Because I can rotate my camera and whatnot if I don't like the uh, perspective that I'm in. Roger that. It's useful. Alright, let's... Uh, can, I, can I grenade reach over there? Ooh, it can. Alright. Let's uh, have him throw a nade over there. And this, yep, it short circuits him and kills the other one. Good work out there, Strike oh, One. Oh, that was may, quick. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Excellent. <coughs> All right. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research. Now, I expect these videos to be a little bit longer than my other videos because of just how much Welcome there is. Welcome to HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, so I'm I'm sorry about that low frame rate. I actually have no idea what just happened right there, but I noticed that the uh, frame rate rate went down. Not only did our troops return safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. 
Okay, so... Commander to the research labs. <sighs> Commander to the research labs. Thank you, I heard you the first time. So, um, I really favor snipers because of just how much damage they can possibly output. And, uh... But we'll see how I do with keeping them alive. And the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give... Thank you, Dr. Fallen. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Fallen. I yeah. oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay. You will most certainly have my approval on a great many things. For now, it's going to be on I Meld. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research option. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Hmm. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay, so, as an example, if the research team found out a way to launch monkeys out of a rocket launcher... Commander, mission control. Th thank you. Uh, as I was saying, if research figured out a way to launch a monkey out of a rocket launcher, you can make it happen. That's good to know. You, you're both miracle workers. So, yeah. Um... All right, let's not worry about this right now. What facilities do I have available to me? I have an officer training school. Okay. There's this nice steam vent right here, so I'm going to want to build an access lift so I can get to that. And uh, I don't necessarily need another power right now. Let's excavate this. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Uh, officer train school. Can I... An XCOM sold... Okay, so there's a limit to what I can do here. Um... Nope, 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 nope. Uh... Okay. Scan for activity. Alright. Commander, <coughs> we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Scientists increase research speed. This gives me straight money. This gives me engineers, which lowers costs. I think I want scientists. Yeah, I want scientists for now. This is going to be my crew. Um, I'm not sure if I want you to have a shotgun. Um, 3 to 5 damage, critical of 20% chance, but the effective range is short. 2 to 4, but the critical chance is pretty nice. Alright, we're just going to leave him with a shotgun then. Yeah. Alright, and we're just going to jump back into it. Make, make items available. Oh, uh, no, 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 I don't have any items to make available. Alright. <coughs> Dropship has arrived. Begin the assault. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Operate. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Thank you. Um, Operation Blind Summer. Alright. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Um, Strike one has the green light for deployment. This is my sniper. I want him to set up right there. 
actually that's not going to be useful. Let's have him just dash up to here. Alright. Let's have him dash all the way up to here. Keep everyone in good cover if I can help it, and try not to trigger any aliens. This first... Um, in the, not the first encounter, the first, um, first round, like I did last time. Um, let's just have him move up over Ready this way. And I know he has no cover, but until I trigger some alien, aliens, they shouldn't cause me too much problems. Alright, so there's meld over there, that's what that is. That's my way of telling where exactly meld is. Alright, let's start getting everyone moving up. Overwatch. Um, I'm gonna have him run and gun. Um, enables you to fire but not use items after dashing. So I want him to dash <coughs> all the way up to here. Yep. That's what I was expecting to happen. Okay. Um, I'll just set him on overwatch since he really doesn't have a good shot. Uh, my sniper can't see anything from back here, so let's... My way. Move him up to full cover. And, um... Let's have him switch weapons. So he can overwatch with his pistol. And then... Let's, um... Let's dash him up into full cover, even though he might get flanked. Alright, there's the meld cancer. Now this gets a lot more crazy. Um, the only reason why it's not insane right now is because it's on uh, normal difficulty, but believe me when I say it, it can get pretty, pretty nuts. Alright, let's grenade this one since he just uh, mine melded with the other one. So, this should kill them both, and if it doesn't, the car should explode and kill it anyway. Nope, I heard it. It got killed. Alright, let's... Let's move you... Up. Still in some cover. Overwatch. Let's have you dash... Come on. Dash Moving. all the way up to there. Target acquired. Oh. Nope, that's not good. Uh, a couple of my guys are in a position to be easily flanked. That's not good. Let me get my sniper in a somewhat advantageous position. I'm not sure if he... he the sniper's become much more useful later on once they have a few levels under their belt. But, uh... Until that time, they're fairly, um... They're fairly weak. Oh, he flanking my unit. The guy took a couple hits. When, when you flank someone, uh, your chance to hit goes up a lot. Alright, hold on. Um, where's my sniper? This is not my sniper. This is my sniper. Alright, so 55 and 55. Alright, let's have him try for this one then. <coughs> Got him. Nice. Alright, I need this meld. I, I need that meld. It's good. It's very, extremely useful. Alright, uh... I'm actually not sure if he can get it if he dashes all the way up, but we're gonna try it. No, 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 no. I need to select him. Can you get it? You cannot. That's not good, so... In other words, I'm not going to be able to get that meld unless this enemy, this last enemy, is the last enemy. 
Alright, um... Let's hope for a crit and an actual hit. Nope. No way that just happened. Alright, so you have a grenade, and I have no idea if you're you're not going to be able to reach him, are you? So there's a good chance that I'm not going to be able to get this meld. Here, let's just see. Nope. Nope, it won't reach him. Alright, so I lost a meld canister this, this time. That sucks. They're falling back. Okay, so I wasn't gonna win even if that was the last one. Or it, because it's not the last one, I'm not gonna win it. And there's the other meld canister if I can get to it. But, uh, let's. Nope, I lost the meld. So this is the only meld canister actually left. You cannot handle two on your own right now, I don't think. So let's. Let's get my sniper up to uh to to a couple of full cover positions or position and then uh let's have him switch to his pistol overwatch. Um I'm gonna leave him there and I'm gonna set him into overwatch. I'm going to start getting these guys up. Alright, I'm going to have him run and gun. In for the kill. And we're going to run you right up into that corner. And maybe shoot an alien in the face with your shotgun. Nope. Don't see him. Alright, well that's unfortunate. Let's have... Is there another way out? There is. Alright, let's have this guy... Dash up this way, see if he can't uh, flank the enemy. I'm all right. Yep. <coughs> so there's the Overwatch activation. It got him and no killed him. Good. All right, so let's move Rolling. up to this wall. Um, I, I'm trying to, f like, I, there's always this confusion with me. There's a way to open the door without kicking the door, but what I just did wasn't it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's have, let's have you move up to here. Yes, Um, full Moving. cover here. Visual on the goods. Still have quite a bit of time for that meld canister, so that's good. Or we're at least going to get one. 2% chance to hit, so let's switch over to the pistol. And 30% chance, let's try it. Nope. Damn it! Enemy is still alive! Alright, let's move you... He's too easily flanked right there, so let's move him here. And, uh, try a shot at this guy. Dang it. Alright, so... Okay, so he overwatched, which means my guys can't move properly there without getting shot at. Missed my sniper, that's good. Alright, so let's let's see here. There's a 39% chance to hit with that, but now if I switch over to the shotgun, there is 46% chance to hit. So we're gonna try and shoot him with a shotgun. Commander, oh, it would be preferable if I destroyed the meld. Shut up, Valen. It's not like I intended to shoot the canister. Actually, let me cancel this. No. Sniper. Thank you. 
You're going to switch over to your sniper rifle, and you're going to try and shoot this guy, because I want you to level up. Or rank up, or get a promotion, or whatever. Oop. Okay, so you missed. So, with that, the grenade is a valid option. I still can't believe that shotgun hit the melt canister and destroyed it. Ugh. So... How do I... Oh, I have to left-click it? Oh my... I have to left-click it. I have to left-click, not right-click. Got it! Alright, that's it, but I lost both meld canisters. That sucks. So after I promote these guys and check everything out, then uh, that'll be it for this episode. So now I have a heavy as well. That's awesome. I wish my sniper got a promotion. Oh. Urban combat badge is now unlocked. Visit the barracks to sign. Okay. Uh, six corpses, a bunch of fragments. Each... Um, New facility available. Laboratory. Each laboratory increases research speed by 20%. Adjacent bonus plus 10% increase to research speed for every adjacent laboratory. Okay. Um, got four scientists because of that. You know what? You can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Thank you. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm I'm going to show you guys everything working up to uh, Do they ever stop talking to me? Anyway, I'm going to show you guys all the way up to the next mission and then I'll end the episode there and that's what I'll do for each um each video. Plus 5 defense when in cover, plus 5 aim against enemies in full cover. We're going to go with plus 5 defense when in cover because it's not restricted to enemies in full cover. So, accept. Uh, let's rename this uh, the turtle. <laughs> turtle badge. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to reward this to... Commander, to the situation room. Let's award it to my heavy. Because he's going to be in the fray a lot. Alright. Okay, okay. Officer training, can I do any of this yet? Nope. Uh, engineering facilities, one day until that's both good. Um, just don't need any of that. Research. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Good. Commander good. To the situation room. Commander to the um, situation room. I'm still having a hard three days. There, there's the number. The three days until it's done. Here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Okay, I see. So, let's launch a satellite. Ooh, pardon me. Uh, keys to satellite deployment. Saying your satellite coverage is crucial to intercepting alien craft and maintaining the support of the council members. Deploy satellites to gain monthly funding from XCOM council nations. Monitoring countries on the same continent will greatly increase the monthly rewards granted by that continent. If every country in a continent is monitored by XCOM satellites, an additional continent specific bonus will be granted. We will be we will need interceptors deployed. 
we'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Okay. Well, the general gist is that I get it. So now I, I see how much money each one gives me and what they give me per month. So right now. I'm based here, so I get engineers per month. Let's put one in the United States because it gets me a lot of money, and it gives me one scientist and one engineer Nothing per month. At the moment. Boards are clear. Um, confirm satellite launch in the United States. Yep. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. No interceptors are stationed. All right. Well, I want to make sure um, I station something there. Alright, let's transfer uh, let's transfer it to the North America. Days to complete three. Barracks. Um All right, let's scan for more activity. Assign new construction because they completed the lift and now have availability to this thing, to this stuff. So let's start excavating this, 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 and it gets more expensive as you go down. But of course, it unlocks more that you can do. Um, I'm gonna build a couple of laboratories up here. I think. Actually, let me let me think on that before I commit. Let's keep scanning. Ah, the meld. <coughs> meld research completed. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Let's assign new research. Unlock all this cool stuff. Thank you. Cybernetics lab. Genetics lab. Adaptive marrow. Death perception. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go with... Let's analyze weapon fragments. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as um, we have something significant to report. Uh, cybernetics lab. Here we will be able to build mechanized exoskeleton cybersuits, mechs, and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for, adjac for adjacency benefits. Counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. Okay. I've always been pretty big on the cybernetics because I like the mechs, they're powerhouses, but I eventually do get both. Let's start with a cybernetic. Be done in 10 days. And. 
keep scanning. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Um reports indicate sighting sightings of alien activity within a large cemetery located near a major South African city. Details are still coming in, but if the aliens are using this area as a staging point, we need to stop them in their tracks. Alright everyone, this is the end of this video. It's especially long for what I usually do, but then again, I, I did tell you guys that I will be doing longer episodes for this, simply because there's so much to do. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!